This is the same old song on normal and hard. spot owned by the Boromar clan. Counselor Sevilla Patella pulled some strings to get you to the distance. <laughs> now you can grab a bed to the Boromar and But it looks like there may be trouble before you even get inside the door. The group of thugs suddenly attacks. Clearly, they want to prevent you from enjoying a night on the town. Those Dosk thugs were loitering near Club Clawfoot. But this is Boromar clan territory. Something's brewing, and you're smack in the middle of it. A group of would-be patrons lingers in the courtyard. They must not be on the guest list. The bouncer opens the front door, now allowing you to enter The dusk thugs lurking outside have set the assistant's the nerves on edge. He wants you to check on Club Clawfoot's no employees before he'll let you talk to the manager. The caretaker of these clawfoot dinosaurs says that the door mechanism is faulty. It needs repairs before the beast can be returned to their rightful half owners. employees report nothing terribly unusual. You can tell Fenwick that all is quiet in the nightclub. You can't go back to the Atlanta All right, so now we've talked back to Fenwick, so we've talked to all the people. Fenwick is relieved to hear that the we we talked to Regina here. Regina, he gives you permission to approach Regina. A piercing alarm. All right, and so this, they may not be here. There's, they're in like random locations. Someone's breaching our magical wards. It must be an attack. Quick, adventures. And so now, if you look on the map, you could see wherever there's like a bl uh, red circle. That's where the fight is. Of course, we didn't go to this middle area, so that's the only place that's not highlighted on our map. But we just follow around in the red circles. Well, here's one here. You're a little hard to notice on the map. More dimension doors have opened nearby. All right, so we just check on the map, and you can see there's one over here. And that's the only one I see on the map. So let's, so let's go to that one. That's way up north here where the dinosaurs are. So they'll actually help us with this fight. You can see they're already fighting. Yeah. 
again, so... Okay, it looks like that middle area, there's a red dot, so uh, we'll go there. There's an objective, um, there's a door. Once you get in here, there's a door with some rats. They actually bite really, really hard. I don't bother with that optional. Alright, so now we we'll go to the main stage. But uh, you could do that optional if you want. It's actually, uh, especially on normal, it's not bad to try out. But on Reaper, they hit super, super hard and they can spawn Reapers, so I just skip that optional. And so that was wave one, and that was the wave one boss. So now we have, now we'll have wave two. This is the time to shrine. You have a moment to rest. And then after some time, a minute or so, the next wave will start, and then uh, we'll have it'll be very similar. We'll have uh, a few rooms, and then we'll have an end boss to beat. The magical alarm triggers once again. And again, just check your map if they're not if they're not in the current room. They could be in this current room. Just check the map, and I could see um, kind of in the uh, north central side, there's two. So I'm going to head that direction. There's the first wave. And there's the second one on the map. Four dimension doors have opened nearby. So I'll check on the map and I'll see kind of headed this direction. Yeah, so those dash trappers don't lay the traps. They lay like poison traps. They're not nearly as bad as the uh, as the bombs that the, that the Bor Boromar trappers need. So, in other words, the dash trappers aren't quite the uh, threat that the Boromar trappers are. Once again, harsh sounds All right. issue from the direction. Of the so now we just go back to the main you stage, shouts, and the boss and is a snakes. Medusa. So. And you want to avoid. Oh, I got trapped, but you want to avoid. Uh, you want to avoid that ray. Regina has promised to do everything she can to cut ties between the Boromar clan and Vaunt Arcanotech. All right, and so these are these materials are used for crafting. I think we might have got some others. Let's see what I have in terms of ingredients. And we're close to being we're close to getting a, uh, a free large ingredient bag from Twelve Favor. I mean, uh, when I say close, we still have to run some quests, but we'll eventually get it. So these. Um, this dust of disjunction I bought because I got a double slotted item and I wanted to break it down and try to sell it on the auction house. And so these Iron Defender, Claw, Shield Guardian Core, Worker Drone Plating, and Mage Fire Cannon Core are all materials that could upgrade our shard items uh, with, um, with like st stats or quality stats or some other bonus item on it. So. so definitely save those and we'll be getting a large ingredient bag so if your bag is getting, let's see how where our bag's at. I'm at 26 out of 30. So my bag is kind of getting to the point where it's going to start overflowing soon. And so don't don't delete those. Uh, we'll be getting a large bag with 12 favor very soon. So I'm going to get my end reward and go right back in on hard.
that's that's almost comical. Shadowy uh, full plate, which gives you hide and move silently. All right, going right back in and hard. Now is remember to click on the heroic uh, at this level. the door. The group of thugs suddenly attacks. Clearly, they want to prevent you from enjoying a night on the town. Those Dosk thugs were loitering near Club Clawfoot. But this is Boromar clan territory. Something's brewing. And you're smack in the middle of it. A group of would-be patrons lingers in the courtyard. Now they won't you listen must not be on the guest list. The bouncer opens the front door, okay. allowing you to enter Club Clawfoot. The Dusk thugs lurking outside. And these uh, the employee NPCs are in the same location he every time. Check on Club Clawfoot's employees. And you don't have to actually Before check everyone. There's only Clawfoot certain key ones you have to talk to. Um, but uh, I just usually just go. Like, I don't think you have to talk to that one, but uh, I just talk to all of them. Since they're on the way, anyways. This one I'm pretty sure is mandatory. The caretaker of these clawfoot dinosaurs says that the door mechanism is faulty. It needs repairs before the beast can be returned to their rightful halfling owners. And once we talk to Tiny over here, we can then go back to the main stage. The employees report nothing terribly unusual. You can tell Fenwick that all is quiet in the nightclub. You can't go back to the gentle place. Fenwick is relieved to hear that the club is safe and secure. He gives you permission to approach Regina, Club Clawfoot's manager. A piercing alarm reverberates throughout the night. Regina turns to you and cries, The alarm! Someone's breaching our magical world! There must be an attack! Quick, adventurers! Do what you do best! And now our map's completely open from last time, so we'll just check. It looks like this path up to the left is where they are. There's one up in the dinosaur area and one on the way to the dinosaur area.
So that's what the dash trappers do. A little poison trap and just take remove poison potion. Um, and so, yeah, those those dinosaurs actually help even on higher difficulties. And if nothing else, they just take aggro from the party. So I usually drag the in that area. I just drag them back to the, uh, you know, if they're in that corner, I drag them over to the dinosaurs and the dinosaurs help out. And then we just have to wait until the next wave now, starts. You have a moment to rest. And this is the time to try and actually, if you're needing to. The magical alarm triggers once again. Dask's attack on the nightclub has resumed. And so they're again kind of up in that north central area. doors have opened nearby and so we just want to kind of head again head towards the end area I think this is the same place it was in last time uh, a slightly different place <laughs> issue from the direction of the stage. You hear panic shouts, screams, and... <laughs> so, poison removal will get rid of that snake venom. If you get it. Keeping her and Encore alive. Regina has promised to do a uh, nightstage nightshade shooter. So this is a nice item for a Inquisitor. If you want to try a range build, it's four pull. Poisonous nightshade venom wounding, really good weapon. I think rat uh, catcher, which we also have, is a pretty uh, possibly a better item. But still, this is a really good item. I'll probably just break it down for uh, or uh, feed it to my sentient weapon, but. Uh, if you want to do like a ranged life, that's a great item to keep.
nothing too interesting. I'm just going to grab this item and uh, retake the quest for when I run out of elite. And that is the same old song on normal and hard. <laughs> 